Hey everybody, I'm at the corner of uh, Bloor Street and Indian Road in Toronto, Canada. Um, I'm at the site of another yet uh, new construction site going up in this area. I decided to film a little bit. I photographed this uh, area uh, a while back, especially this, uh, this uh, garage and complex here. This used to be a cool motorcycle shop. It's Bloor Street. High Park Street would be uh, far out to the left of me. And uh, I made a street walking film here uh, way back, maybe a couple months ago, and, uh, which I posted on my YouTube channel. This area, I used to come to this area almost daily, like I said in my past video, because there used to be a photo color lab in this area that we're gonna visit from the back. And uh, I used to come here, drop my films off to get processed. And back in the day, let's do a look back on uh, this uh, shop. Midas used to be a Midas garage, and they sprayed painted the sign. I totally got rid of it. Um, back in the day, now actually you can park on the street because there's bike lanes and uh, kind of weird parking. But back in the day, you couldn't park on the street. And my lab was right there, so when you wanted to drop film off at you know, 4 or 6 o'clock or pick up your film before closing time, it was always, you know, they could tow your car away. Man, it's so noisy today. So the owner of the shop was very kind enough to let me go in the alleyway and park in the back. So I could park in the back, get in the shop from the back, and uh, let's go down this way and check out my pictures, take them out and leave. So I used to pretty much be in this alleyway um, every day, driving up and down. And, uh, and then when the building on the corner went up, that building, I back then I used to come and uh, check it out all the time. So this is a subway line right across the city. If you're traveling on the east-west bound train, this is the one area that the train gets out of the tunnel and you get some fresh air <laughs> and uh, you always see this uh, wall it's like always looks reminds me of uh, the New York subways when sometimes they go into different areas with uh, graffiti and that kind of stuff so that's uh, looking east so I guess this is going to be a brand new building here I'll take some pictures of this area and uh, see what happens I wonder if they're going to take over the parking lot too or not. Or how's that going to work? I guess the parking lot is a city parking lot. Yeah, do I look back this way? We will take some photographs, maybe, see what we can do. Just, uh, let's do a kind of random shot of very, uh, bunch of colors. Very colorful. Lots of paint. Interesting uh, concept. Let's just do one more shot here. You see, I like the cars in the foreground because cars are important in a city photograph. Okay, let's head out to the alleyway where Strahd's color labs were. And uh, wow, this is interesting. They got this. Uh, there's a police car in the back there too. They got this. Uh, railway thing sitting on this uh, kind of cushiony thing. I guess that's to a bunch of them. So stop the vibration. Isn't that interesting? Huh? Wow. It's pretty interesting. I guess that's what it's for. To keep the... I guess the train goes over here and vibrates through the whole neighborhood. Wow, there's one over here and was in the all the way in the back. Okay, and there's a look back on this area that's going to be condoed up, just like this one, just like this one. It's a great area to live in, actually. It's right across the park, right across the park, and uh, a few minutes walk downtown. This area used to be tons of graffiti too on this wall here, and 
when they built it, then it's all cleaned up. Like people are respectful enough not to mess this wall up too, but they will in the future. It's just that, that that area will be it it will be graffitied up. It will be graffitied up. Look, we got a mirror here. Oh, we can't see ourselves in it. All right, all right. Look, let's get to uh, Strauss Color Lab. Oh look, what a cliche. Like a cliche photograph of a bike and there's a train tracks right to my left. Wow, this is cool. Look at those trees. Wow, can you see it? That tree was uh I guess growing there. Look at it, going right through the fence. Right through the fence. It's gotta be it's gotta be that, right? It's gotta be can be like put in afterwards. Okay, a couple shots of that. I don't know what's up there. All right. It's like a lady's painting. Maybe a photograph of this. I think I have a photograph here before. I also shot a video here of uh, in this alleyway of a um, portrait of a girl. Like she was a singer. So I shot her photographs here in this alleyway. You know, typical uh, you know, typical cliche rock and roll music, alleyway, punk rock. And I think I shot it right here against this wall. Let the car pass. Let the car pass. A cool shot too. I shot it right here and uh, against this wall. I might link that video to this uh, to this also, but I don't know if it's uh, it's a different kind of genre music videos. Let me know in the description if you want to see that uh, video. But the, the funny thing was that I used um, I used the car's headlight to photograph her. Yeah, uh, was it the Strauss here? No, next door. Oh, well, that's a cool one. I like this car too. Bam, 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 bam. Boom, boom, bam. Lots of color. These guys used good color. Yeah, I, I, I like this one. I like this uh, Mickey Mouse thing. And I like this one. This is the coloring and it is, it's gorgeous. Let's do a photograph. Let's do a photograph. I think these uh, kind of graffiti art alleyway things are just basically all about the color. It's all about the color. You know, because this is the orange and the blue I like I like I like I like because it's a brightens up the whole place okay if I remember correctly oh there's lots of them here I think that's what's trans up there well I'll check I'll have to check let's check out the lighting here that's not bad either just a photograph of this this guy's got a full-on deck I want to get a picture of that with the background still, so you can still say it's on an alleyway and it's not. Yeah, that's what Strahd's la color lab, that one. That one. Yeah. It's the park right here. Jump in there. Pick up my, pick up my photographs and get the hell out. Well, they, they helped me a lot in, uh, in my photography, they always uh, looked after my negatives and that sort of thing. All right. Oh, a hockey house. That's kind of cool too. With that guy cleaning. The, we got lots of trains coming. Nice. Oh, it's, I guess it's a MPP's office now or something in the back. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Little garage. Oh, today is really humid. My God. I was planning to go biking too, so it's really hot. It's amazing how it gets. Uh, 
for vegetables. Cool. It's amazing how it gets uh, super hot, like instantly from cold to hot. And I do prefer the colder climates. So this is a, that was like a really short alleyway. That's why I used to drive and come out of there. And then I've actually never been in this section, oddly enough. One section I've been to a lot, and the other section I've never been to. Never been to. Oh, the sun came out now too, which makes it warmer. All right. So I guess this is Kiel Station. So this is a, it's a lot of garbage here. It's actually not a bad alleyway for a fashion shoot either. There's like a toilet, barbecue. It's like a beat. Oh, I like these drums too. This oil can drums. That's a cool shot. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see if it works. I don't know. Something about oil drums that's really cool. Most of these buildings are extended out, and I guess that isn't. That's why it's. Uh, they have a little, it's like a TTC something. Let's see this guy. They got the sirens going on in the background. Very urban. It feels like I put the sirens in in post-production, doesn't it? Wow, that's a cool building too. Very nice. Yeah, I've never been in this section. I've passed, uh, you know, I never had any reason to come in and just. Uh, beautiful. You know what's interesting? This uh, greenery, it's. They're, look, look where they are, right? There's paint of spray can, there's dirt. Look at this tree. Look how big this one grew. And they cut it down because I guess it's interfering with everything else. But this vegetation is coming out. It's like cement, garbage, no water, concrete on one side, and they're still growing. That's what I really like about life. You know, it's, uh, it is, uh, it's, the plants are really tough. You know, it feels like global warming and stuff is going to damage everything. Yet, these guys are growing out of nowhere. This, uh, there's a lot of these barrels here. There's a lot of these oil barrels. So that's the shot here. Very cool. Additional parking with a tree and a red street car. And this guy's got his motorcycle, just a nice bike right in the middle of the, the place. Alright, righty. Look at the birds. That's a cool shot. So I guess this is that giraffe building that I photographed a few times from the back of it. What is that, a smart car? Okay, it would have been good to get that in there too, but I like this shot with that, uh, the back side of it is so destroyed. And the front is destroyed too. This has been closed for, I think it was a Greek diner here, and it's closed for a long time. More of these barrels, I wonder what's in there. What do you think it's in there? Probably hazardous waste stuff. Oh, and there's some buildings over there, we're gonna, Kind of turn. Actually, you know what we got to do? We're going to turn right a little bit. This is going to be a discovery. And then we go to those construction up there and we record some of that. It's going to be a discovery tour. Uh, again, a construction. I like areas that are going to change. So this building, I think it used to be a Greek diner. A Greek diner. And we're at the corner of Bloor and Kitt Street. Kitt Street in Toronto. We see anything in here or no? Not really. Probably better from across the street. Uh, this is like uh, this draft type of building. So they've been trying to sit on it and they're trying to dig it up, but uh, it's been like that for a long time. Let's go check out the, those construction up there and take some pictures of the... They're going to be pretty big condos, I guess, there too. 
Yeah, it's crazy. This used to be a local little uh, plaza too. It was pretty, pretty. At one point, I bet you it was happening right across the subway. You know, and we had a little park stuff. You park your car. It's a pretty good building. You know, it's, those shops would have probably done really, really well because you know you're right across the subway. Uh, you know, you have a couple of people are gonna stop by and good, good access on Bloor Street. Probably rent wouldn't have been that high because they're behind Bloor Street as opposed to right on it, but they're kind of on it too. And they could have figured something out. Alright, so let's film some of this. Not working today because it's a long weekend Saturday. Yeah. Nobody works. There you go, and then here's the. That's what's going to happen here. Let's just go further a little bit for the... Is that a picture what they're going to build? Probably like anything they build now is going to be pretty tall. That's a cool shot too, this uh, old sign and those people coming in from the back. And the bicycle. People are a little bit too far away, but uh, they disappeared anyway. So anyway, so this is a pretty cool area. I'm going to do a walk here too. The queue. It is very, very humid. It's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this uh, short little roundabout walk around the block. Uh, I'll uh, see you in the next. Uh, see you in the next video.